take it? Yeah, I think we're ready to take it. Okay, three, quiet, five, please. Six. Scene, seven, zero, three, take one. Mark. And action. Hey, that's the real chicken. Micah. Get out! Charge. Cut! <laughs> Let's try it one more time. It's pretty much an absurdist comedy. It involves a guy in a chicken suit, a clown, five mimes, a girl in a wedding dress, and a tandem bicycle, which I believe all key elements to successful comedies. We're all in this class at UT. Uh, it's called RTF 368, and it's uh, undergraduate thesis, which is pretty much the, I guess, like the highest level of production course you can take as an undergrad. And uh, I wrote the script, submitted it to the class, and there's our crew over there. Whatever he tells you is a lie. He stole this idea from me. Oh, whatever. I conceived of it with my baby. It doesn't have any religious Chris. images. You know, we really don't look at it as just schoolwork. I'm sure we're submitting it for a grade, but. Really, we're doing this for you know our portfolios as a bit of a business card to help us get a job after graduation, and you know just to submit it to festivals and uh, you know just have something that we're proud of to add to our portfolio. So, uh, but in terms of limitations, sure. I mean, not being able to pay the crew can sometimes make it difficult to find willing participants. But favors are what make you know, this industry go around. And, uh, you know, I've helped people on shoots before, called in those favors. Fortunately, we got a lot of really talented people to come out and help, and uh, I'm really happy with the way things are going. We knew we wanted kind of a small town feel, and we thought maybe we could shoot on South Lamar in Austin, but we were kind of worried about the busyness of the street. And here, you know, it's just, it's, it's gorgeous, it's really, perfect for the feel that we were going for. Everyone's been so helpful, you know, they've given us keys to the Chamber of Commerce and it's just been a wonderful experience. There's a lot of people in the, in the movie, but basically it's our hero and the damsel in distress seeing someone getting beaten up by the mimes that will be chasing them in the next scene. We have a couple of jib shots where we're gonna basically reveal, you know, start low and basically reveal the mimes in the background and then our, um, you know, a couple of shots of our, our key players, you know, before they run off. And then the next scene, they're being chased by the mimes. This shot needs to be from, because we're on axis on yeah, the Y. Yeah, straight on. Which is what that's going to cut to, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. So, is he pointing to the chicken, who is technically left of camera at this point? No. Yes. So he needs to point this way. Okay. Hand down a little bit. You're coming to your face, yeah. Like, point normally. He's the chicken. I'm the chicken, right here. When I yell action, just look up and do your thing, okay? Scene seven zero three, take three. Roll it. For, wait, we have, now we have cloud. Okay. Hold for clouds. For some reason, to hold. Really, our main issue with the shoot is that it's taking place over a matter of a few minutes, but we're shooting it over the course of three days. So we have constant shifting in our weather because we're going from total overcast to partly cloudy to full sun, back to clouds, and back again. It's just all over the place. I'm desperately trying to get it to match. It's essentially real time, so if we have the light shifting between different scenes or shifting within a scene, then the continuity as far as the lighting um, gets very sort of confusing in the edit and can potentially be a problem. Flies out. Okay. Uh, let's have... Mika? Okay. Give us some room. So it's... And it fall down, right? Yeah. And keep it simple. Nothing too complicated. It is an um, action driven uh, film or a martial arts film. Then you want something complicated, but regardless, it's all safety. All the actors are, should be trained by professionals. In this case, a lot of them have some stage combat, but you still have to consider, consider them as beginners because it's a film shoot and it's it's a script they've never done before. I mean, it's not it's not like they rehearse every single day. They have a couple of days to rehearse, and then when when the camera rolls, they do it. 
It is really yeah. hot right now, but the entire cadre. These are the things that student filmmakers do to <laughs> see their their vision or their director's oh, vision Michael into completion. Bay are we really? I think over the course of this shoot, I've ended up doing uh, like a little bit of every role on the production. I mean, that's pretty much what it means to produce on the student level. I think I kind of want Micah to do his hilarious gnome voice, or his, uh, you're, get him! Go get him! Go, just, just say, get him angrily. <laughs> like get you're him! Like, like you're in puberty. But like, really angry. Get him! Is that it? But like, more like, get him! Like a get him! Something like that. I like it. Once he's in the final position, I, uh, Craig, I want you to go, point and go, hey, that's the real chicken! And then everyone looks up. And then Micah, you're yeah. Yeah. With the level of talent of the students and the people here, I could really see you know, Austin being, well, they call it the third coast, and it truly is, you know, I really think so. And, you know, when it comes to getting a good production designer or a good director of photography or whatever crew positions need to be filled, it's here in Austin, and it's really just a matter of finding the people. There's great actors, everything. It's, it's a great place to be. I'm, you know. Couldn't be happier in Austin.